Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. I had some comments in my last video about my unconventional welding settings and uh, doing downhill welding. And I decided that I would do a uh, representative of what that I had done and uh, cut it apart and take a look at it and just see what it looks like, see if I need to grind all this off and start over again or if it looks like it'll be okay. So what I'm doing here is I got the saw blade in between these two pieces to represent the gap that I had up there to make it equivalent. And I'm just lapping these two pieces together, which is kind of the way that that works out, although it's really a corner joint inside, so it's not quite the same. But it's kind of a corner joint on the back side, so it pretty much is the same. But anyway, me, uh, I haven't changed anything on the welder. It's exactly the same as it was when I did the other, so it should be a valid test. I haven't welded anything since then. But uh, let me get the tack on here so I can turn this upright and not have it fall apart, and we'll see how it does. Gonna make me weld backwards for you all. That's hard. Get this other side. So there it is. Let's uh, chop this apart and take a look. All right, I don't know how good this works. Well, hopefully I've got this polished enough. Never done this, so I really don't know. But you can see there's a little gap down in there that didn't get through. But I'm thinking it looks like penetration is maybe not too bad, but let's see. I got some navel jelly here. This is a Jody Collier trick, so let's this is probably a thirty year old navel jelly, so I don't know if it's any good or not, but maybe you can. I'll try and outline it. I can see it. Probably better than this camera picks up. I can see it here in the light, but I don't think it turns up very good on this camera. I need a better etch than this old navel jelly. I don't know what Jody uses, but it really comes out good. But anyway, that's pretty much what it looks like there. So as you can see, it's actually burned in pretty good. Let's see what gives up first, the weld or the half inch uh, piece of plate. Yeah, it's just spreading the plate.
All right, let's do one more little strength test here. So, if I can weld this on here. Gotta turn grind mode off on the helmet. That's my vertical down wells. What do you think? They're gonna hold? Well, on there pretty good. Let's see if I can bend this thing over any. Well, I think I'll tell you that this weld's reasonably strong. See if I can straighten it back out. Pretty sure that'll hold. It's just bending the bar before it fails to weld, so. Ought to be good. Give you a look at the vertical down welds on this bar that I'd welded on, that I did the testing with. Some days I don't do too bad. As you can see, as it warmed up, it got easier to lay the bead in there. That was the same case with the trailer. As it, once the neck got good and warm, it really welded out pretty nice. So, vertical down, didn't even go all the way through or all the way around, and it was plate welded and still more than enough to bend that 3 8 bar. So, I think that uh, it ought to hold. Well, I guess it wouldn't be fair for me to do all that and not tell you what my unconventional welding settings are. So, what I'm running is 98 argon and 2 oxygen, which is an unusual mix. Uh, but it, it does allow for spray arc and good penetration from what I've experienced with it. As you can see, I'm on a, a 230 amp machine, and I'm on 11 on the volts and 70% on the wire feed. Uh, I had to look it up and see what it shows in the book, what those are as far as actual voltage numbers and uh, wire feed speeds and inches per minute. So I'll put that down on the screen here somewhere when I calculate that up. But as for the people who were worried about the hitch falling off, I think that's not gonna be the case. So hopefully this will put your, uh, your mind at ease when you're sharing the road with me that uh, you're not gonna have a trailer dump in front of you because of a downhill weld that's been done on it. So thanks for, well, uh, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing and I'll catch y'all later.